Hey guys, alright, so in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create these artistic uh, abstract garments that you see over here. So we'll be using uh, Marvelous Designer and ZBrush to create uh, these abstract results. Uh, now you're probably wondering why I actually have Word open. Uh, and this was actually an article that I wrote for the 3D Artist magazine, uh, which is going to be released on the 22nd of February 2017. And I thought that I'd actually do a video tutorial covering all of these techniques because I prefer video content over written content personally because I find video content to be a little bit more engaging. So I'm basically going to be covering all of these uh, techniques that I've written out here in a video tutorial uh, for you guys to follow along with. So it's going to be really simple and the process is uh, it's pretty cool to play around with if you guys are uh, want to experiment and try something different with your garments. I'm going to be showing you how we can set this up. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so I've got Marvelous Designer open over here. Now this isn't a tutorial on how to actually create a garment in Marvelous Designer. I have some tutorials concerning that. If you guys are interested to learn a little bit more, uh, a little bit more about Marvelous Designer, uh, but this is basically just going to cover the process of taking a garment from Marvelous Designer, taking it over to ZBrush, and then just creating some abstract patterns on it. Uh, so, as you can see, I've gone ahead over here and I've created this dress in Marvelous Designer. You guys can see the pattern here on the right. That's pretty pretty simple to do. I was just watching some tutorials by CG Elves and she helped me a little bit uh, with putting this together. Uh, but anyway, again, this is assuming that you guys have already created your garments because I'm not covering any garment creation within Marvelous Designer. But anyway, once you've got your garment created, what we want to do here is, uh, by the way, I'm also looking at my notes uh, that I wrote for the magazine, which is on the other screen. So I'm just looking back and forth, but I, I do have the process already uh, mapped out but anyway once you've got your garment go ahead select the entire garment like this and uh, usually when we create garments within marvelous designer this garment is going to be triangulated and uh, that can be a little bit difficult to work with uh, within uh, within zbrush i've even got tutorials that show you why you should quadrangulate your garment so we're going to be uh, we're going to be doing exactly that and we need to do that in order to get um, uh, some uh, this is a little bit more control uh, over our garment because we, when it's in quads, it's just a little bit easier to work with. So we're going to go to Edit, Context Menu, 3D Garment, and then we have Quadrangulate. So that's going to put our garment in quads. And then uh, we want to make sure that we keep this dress actually pretty low poly. Well, for the, for the type of abstract effect I'm going for, I'm going to keep it low poly. So that means I'm actually going to leave my particle distance at 20. So you know that when you reduce this number, uh, it just adds more polygons and the garment gets more detail. But 20 should be fine. Uh, we're going to be leaving it at that because that's also going to be useful for when we use nano mesh. And then once we're done with that, we can go ahead, file and export this out of here. So I'm going to export OBJ selected. Uh, let's put this on the desktop. I'll just say dress tutorial. Click on save. Uh, now these are my settings over here. Um, I'm actually going to select thick and uh, actually wait before I do that let me cancel that and in my window V I'm actually going to add oh I've already added thickness okay so I'm just going to go file export obj selected and say dress tutorial click save and I'll still click on thick uh, single object my scales in centimeter for Dare Studio because that's the scale I used when I exported my avatar and then click on OK and then we can head over to ZBrush next alright so I've gone ahead and imported the dress into ZBrush you can see that uh, by choosing thickness and actually adding some thickness to the garment within Marvelous Designer we're not having any display issues over here uh, but if for any uh, for any reason if you experiencing some display issues like if you're moving around and you don't see the entire garment correctly, just go to display and uh, click on double. Uh, but anyway, you'll see now if I click on polyframe, this is in quads, right? Which is awesome. 
so it's going to be a little bit easier to work with and this is going to be really handy uh, when we actually need to use uh, a nano mesh so I'm going to go ahead and just create a duplicate and then rename that duplicate as nano mesh because we'll be doing that later nano mesh and then I can hide that all right so um, maybe some of you guys are wondering why I didn't just export this as triangulated because I'm about to turn this into triangles once I decimate this uh, I just feel like I get a little bit more control when I quadrangulate it and then decimate it I don't know I just find that workflow to be a little bit better for me personally uh, but anyway we've got the garment in here the most important thing that we need to do first is to actually weld the points on this dress because even if I try and smooth this right now uh, you'll see that the dress gets a little bit wonky and it starts even breaking up in certain places so it's really important that we weld the points together on this dress so I'm going to go to geometry modify topology you can keep keep that on one and just click on weld points right then once you've done that I'm going to go to Z plugin decimation master pre-process uh, current and then the decimation amount I'm just seeing what percentage I put it at here so I put it at 10 uh, for the article so we'll put it on 10 as well and then just click on decimate current and there we go so you can see now we've got it in triangles and it's giving us that abstract uh, low poly look and feel to this garment so it's again just something a little bit different a little bit more creative that you guys can experiment with your garments so probably what I should have done here is uh, this ribbon I probably want that separated uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna go to poly poly groups and auto groups now this ribbon should okay yeah, there we go it is its own poly group so I'm pressing control and left clicking to hide hide that hide these pieces because I want that separated right I don't want that to be included on the garment uh, actually what I should do here is just hide this entire dress there we go it's a bit easier and then I'm gonna say split hidden and now I can just work on this dress uh, on its own so that ribbon I'll go to sub tools and actually uh, just hide it and uh, I'm thinking now maybe I just want this to be the nano mesh dress so I'm gonna delete this nano mesh and duplicate this one instead and say rename nano mesh okay maybe I don't want the ribbon at all but okay so we've got the dress on its own so I'm gonna do the exact same thing just go to uh, pre-process current put on 10 and decimate current so uh, basically um, the lower the percentage of your decimation the bigger these triangles are going to be so you guys can actually play around with that and you'll get some interesting shapes but this is what I'm going for I want that triangular look and feel to the dress so we'll continue from here alright so to get these triangles to actually stand out a lot more if I actually hide the poly frame we can we can see those triangles right but we can make them a lot more prominent a lot more detailed uh, and it's really simple we're going to be using uh, the Z modeler so I'll go to brush and go to Z modeler and then from here uh, I'm going to hold down spacebar to bring up the uh, Z modeler menu so I'm just going to hover over uh, one of the faces and I'm going to go to inset and I'm going to say uh, all polygons so you'll see now I just have to uh, click down uh, the left mouse button and just drag this out a little bit and you can see that it starts to inset uh, all of those polygons right so it's creating like a separation over there and then from here well, not a separation I'm sure you guys are familiar with what an inset is if you guys have been doing 3d modeling uh, and then from here again I'm gonna hold down spacebar and go to extrude and I'm going to click on uh, again I'm just reading my notes over here extrude my slightly click on a uh, poly group poly group all and then uh, from here again I just hover over this purple poly group and if I left click and uh, drag that out or I can choose to drag that out or drag it in 
it's up to you guys uh, again you can get some interesting results like that but I just tend to drag this out and now if we hide the polyframe you can see that it's a lot more prominent and a lot more visible so you can get some really interesting results like this this kind of reminds me of um, a Deuce X it's got that Deuce X kind of appeal to it kind of looks hard surface and low poly so again just to see the difference this is how it looks without the inset and the extrude so you can see that that makes quite a difference uh, and then from here uh, what we want to do is uh, we can go ahead and actually start smoothing some of these to get even more interesting results so you get these uh, really interesting looking triangles once you start smoothing them so you guys can have a lot of fun with this uh, again it's a it's a pretty abstract uh, and creative process for just trying something different with your garments if you guys are interested in doing something like this so that's the Z modeler process really simple you just insert and then extrude all right Right, so we can explore some further ideas as well with this dress to create some more abstract uh, garments. If I go back to the sub tool, remember I duplicated this dress and created a nano mesh version. So I'm going to hide this version and let's unhide that nano mesh. Right, so you can see it's still in quads and we want to leave it in quads. Uh, but this time, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to weld the points and we're not going to be decimating anything. Alright, so these quads are basically going to de uh, determine the location of where each of our nano mesh uh, duplicate, uh, duplicated objects are going to be placed. So for this purpose, all I'm going to do is click on here, go to uh, cube, just to show you guys what you can do with this quadrangulated mesh. Go to insert cube and uh, I'm going to go to brush and create nano mesh brush. Now we're in a nano mesh mode. So now if we just select a face, you can see that it says insert nano mesh uh, as poly. We don't want a single poly. So I'm holding down spacebar to bring this up again. We want to click on all polygons and now left click, drag this out. And you can see that it's placing a cube on uh, all of those uh, different uh, quads. So from here, uh, what we can end up doing is we can go to the nano mesh menu over here and we can start playing around with this so you guys can play around with all of these different buttons and sliders you can click on fit or even fill uh, maybe let's see we can adjust the width and then if we just want to see what this looks like without the actual garment there uh, we can click on uh, show placement or we'll untick that and now we can just see the placement of the cubes on the dress. So you can see uh, that uh, we get some rather interesting uh, results as well when we use a nano mesh in conjunction with that dress. So that dress is basically uh, like a placeholder and these cubes are being duplicated on all of those quads. And yeah, you can have a lot of fun with this. Uh, you can come up with some really, really abstract and interesting results so yeah go crazy with the stuff guys and you can see i just used a cube over there so whatever shape you guys create you can duplicate it uh, along that mesh to create some uh, interesting results some abstract dresses uh, that you've created in marvelous designer so it just creates a really interesting workflow uh, so i've showed you how to do that with z modeler and nano mesh so i hope you guys have a lot of fun with this uh, go ahead Play around with these tools. It's really awesome. ZBrush is an amazing program. Uh, Marvelous Designer is also an amazing program. And combining these two together creates some really, really powerful and interesting workflows. Oh, and um, maybe for some of you guys that have not used NanoMesh, uh, once you get to the point where you actually want to turn this into geometry, like you can see, it's not even being reflected here in the polygon count. You just have to go to Inventory and say One to Mesh. And there we go. So it's actually applied onto that garment that we used as reference. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to delete the garment now. So I'm going to hold on control and left click and just click on this green area and then click again. Now the dress is hidden. Then from here, I'll go to uh, delete hidden. Now the dress is deleted and we just have this as geometry. Now you can see that polygon count is pretty insane. It's on 10 million 
Uh, so maybe I would go ahead and decimate this uh, just to try and reduce the polygon count. But there we go. We've got our dress using the cubes and yeah, pretty interesting. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something useful from this. And as always, stay tuned for some more tutorials. All right. Goodbye.